Hey you guys, Kendra here and welcome to another edition of Beauty and Inspirations where it is always our goal to inspire you from the inside out. Thanks so much for tuning in and for stopping by. Look at my teddy peeking at y'all like, hey, <laughs> we're back. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm back momentarily but I am back I looked through my videos and looked at my channel you guys and haven't looked at it in a long time realized that we hit 500 subscribers <laughs> I'm so excited you guys I know like to, to a lot of you to most people that you're like really but that's a milestone for me because as long as I've been on YouTube um, and as inactive as I have been like hitting that 500 mark like actually we're 502 subscribers in like hitting that mark is just so exciting for me so I was like I've got to do some content and so looking at my channel I realized that I hadn't put up content in a year and I'm like girl you got to do better but for good reason for those of you who know you know I am back in school for those of you who don't know I am back in school so your girl is grinding trying to get through these semesters so that I can get my degree we're almost there but I'm going back to school after that um, because while the momentum is there you got to get get it while the getting is good so I'm back this is a haul video if you guys are interested in seeing what I picked up say a post Christmas haul then keep on watching so yes you guys I'm back momentarily got to give you some content I should be ashamed of myself that it's taken a year to get some content out but again for a good cause I'm back in school grinding so I've got a good reason I've got a good excuse for not being active but for a girl who's not been very active in the last year or active at all in the last year I'm getting subscribers I'm getting supporters I'm getting those of you who are watching my content here or there you're commenting and you know what more can a girl ask for right so thank you so much for subscribing if you are a new subscriber welcome to the family for longtime family members thanks so much for your continued support and if you're just kind of perusing through and you see something that piques your interest why not become a subscriber of the channel I'm transparent over here so you're not gonna get content on a regular basis right now but when I'm able to get up content then I'm gonna do my best to try to do so so hit the subscribe button don't forget to hit the bell button so you'll be notified whenever I upload videos. Hit the like button, the share button, all of that good stuff. Yeah, comment below and catch me on my other social media platforms. I'm actively on Facebook and Instagram, so I'll leave that below. I'm on Snapchat, but I'm not really active. But if you want to, you know, hit me up over there, then do so as well. Let's get into this video, which is a post Christmas haul picked up some things I picked up an item today from Ulta so I just said let me just haul that as well and then I ordered a few fragrances from fragrance net they arrived today so let's get into it okay so first up went to Ulta today and one of the most exciting things that happened to me this year as we close the year out is that my city finally got an Ulta <laughs> I'm so happy you guys because and I tell I when I went to this grand opening and I went to the grand opening I told a lot of the employees that you know probably you probably want to thank me because when I tell you guys that I was emailing corporate and telling them you guys need to come closer to me I should not have to drive an hour east and an hour south in order to get to the nearest altar right I should be able to go to Ulta on my lunch break. And that's exactly what I did on today. Um, end of the year, I had some bonus points and I needed to spend them before they expired. That's coins and you don't let coins go to waste, okay? And also I had a gift card as well. So it was burning a hole in my pocket. So I decided to go in and check out and see what I could get. I had some fragrances in mind, however, my Ulta got demolished over the Christmas holidays. And so a lot of stuff was out of stock. And I guess the truck will come in maybe between now and this weekend. But I needed to go ahead and make this purchase because I was not going to let those coins slip away from me. So I had a backup plan and I just ended up picking up a foundation. And I picked up a staple, Odie But Goody, the Lon Combs Tint Adele Ultra, um, Ultra Wear Foundation. And I had been trying to find my color, truly my color in this foundation for a long time I was beginning to become hopeless thinking that I was just not gonna find my shade but 
out of all of the samples of this foundation that I have tried out, and this is pre-COVID, you know, when they were graciously, especially Sephora was graciously giving out samples, I would go to the Lancome counter and get matched and everything by one of the essays and still the foundation shade would not be my shade. I was going all around this color and it was sitting there like pick me <laughs> the whole time. But hey, that's how it goes sometimes with, with makeup foundation. Just trying to find the perfect shade or the right shade um, is always a tedious task. So anyway, I am the shade 470C. 470C. And when I tell you it is a perfect match, it is a perfect match. I match uh, my foundations like um, between my neck and my chest. And like it basically disappeared like it disappeared. So this is it right here. Nothing to write home about, but I have to say that I absolutely love the packaging of this foundation. And there it is on the back, 470C. So I can't wait to put it on full face and see how it does. I absolutely love this foundation. I just couldn't find my shade until now. So I picked that up. Um, it retails for $47. However, like I said, I had some Ulta points to cash in and then I had a gift card so I think out of pocket I paid about 12 or 13 dollars okay so that is what I picked up today at Ulta so then I got home and I had a package from fragrance net so last week I made a purchase purchase a few fragrances I've got a full size a decant travel spray and an actual sample and then fragrance net sent me a sample of a fragrance as well so let me show you that first this is it right here i hope you guys can see my lighting might be washing it out but it's a beautiful purple packaging it's a fragrance that i've never heard before it's called exceptional because you are it is tailor-made for women i don't know if it's an edp edt i'm not exactly sure but it came with a $20 coupon code off of, I guess, the full size if I want to purchase it. And that's the little valve of it like right there. Um, it basically says a distinctly feminine fragrance featuring a crisp and elegant introduction, a slightly spiced floral, heart, and sensual dry down. So that sounds tantalizing. Piqued my interest. And so I'm going to, I can smell it faintly through through the bottle through the little sample valve but you know we'll, we'll test it out and see that's what samples are for right so a sample that i bought um is this and this is montal's rose elixir so i've fallen in love with the house of montal Mon and mancera i have acquired a few manceras and i have one full size montal in my possession but i wanted to sample some some more montal's to see how I would like them and to see if I would, you know, be willing to purchase a full size. I also have some travel spray decants of some men, um, Mancera's and Montal's as well that I purchased from Fragrance Net as a matter of fact. So I um, decided to pick this one up because I've heard a lot about this one and I wanted to start buying some fragrances that would work in the spring and summer months because we will be there before you know it, okay? Um, and lately I have just been buying like heavy fragrances that are more suitable for the cooler months, the, the, the uh, fall and winter. So I said, well, let me just go ahead and start preparing for spring and summer. So I got this sample and I think the bottle that's pictured here is actually what the bottle of Rose Elixir looks like, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -mm. Yeah, no, this is Rose's Musk. Okay, girl. But I think it does come in a pink. Maybe the pink is a little bit brighter than this. But anyway, these are pictures of Montal full-size bo uh, bottles. And let me spray this. I spray it inside of the car. So oop, let me spray it the right way. Okay. <laughs> and ooh, I like this. Definitely smell the rose. It's musky, sweet. I like it so far at first spray. At first spritz, I like it so far. So we'll test it on skin, see how it wears. And this just may become a full-size purchase. So that's that. The next fragrance that I got came in a travel decant 
um, itemizer and I love the fact that you can purchase samples as well as travel sprays to kind of feel get a feel for the fragrances before you commit to purchasing the full size so that's another thing I like about fragrance next in addition to their prices are just phenomenal so this is a discount online retailer and the decant that I received or I purchased is YSL's Montpellier Intense Mint this is an EDP I absolutely love the original Montal, uh, Montpellier, I'm sorry, Montal, Montpellier from YSL. And um, I think I had a sample of the Intense Mint or either I, no, I'm going to tell you what happened. I went to Sephora pre-COVID and it was just coming out because I think it came out in like 2019, 2018, you know, don't get me to lying, but I think it came out between 2018, 2019. And I went to Sephora and the guy who the essay who was working the fragrance area, he sprayed it heavily on um, tissue, on tissue paper. Cause you know, they have like the strips and they have like the, the sponges, they have like all kinds of things and they have tissue. So you can, you know, wipe off, you know, swatches or whatever. So he sprayed it on tissue. He sprayed it real heavy. Like he went in. Do you not know that probably a year later I found the Sephora bag with the tissue in it and I could still smell this fragrance on that tissue Ooh, and it smells so 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 good so I said well let me just pick up a travel spray actually when I went into Ulta today I was really looking to purchase a full-size bottle but they did not have it in the size that I wanted it in store so I actually was not able to, I didn't get it, um, but I knew also I had this coming. So I said, well, let me just try this, you know, the decan out on skin, see how it works for me. And then if I like it, I'm going to purchase the full size. So I sprayed it before, but let me spray it again on my little strip of paper. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is rose. This is musk, a little bit spicy. I'm not going to go into note details because I don't have them before me right now, but this is good. Like red berries or red currant or something like that in it, black currant, um, some vanilla. This is good, okay? This is good. It's just as I remembered it. I can't wait to try this out on skin to see how it wears on me, to see how it you know develops on my skin. But this is good and I am really glad I got it. So even if I do purchase a full size and the travel will definitely come in handy. So the last fragrance that I got and the last thing that I'm going to show you with this haul is a fragrance that I have been wanting for the longest time. I actually got a travel decant spray of that fragrance of this full size fragrance that I'm going to show you from a subscription service. I think with Scent Bird when I was with Scent Bird and I used it up. I loved it. And kept saying I need to purchase the full size because the full size is actually available. It's fairly inexpensive. However, when I went to go purchase it, it was sold out and I couldn't find it anywhere. So I panicked. So when I saw that it was available again, I just went ahead and said, girl, go ahead and buy it because it's less than $50. Um, and then also, you know, with fragrance net, you can get, you know, a coupon code for like 25, 30, 31. I think I, the coupon code that I use, was 35% off because it's like Christmas and everything. But the fragrance that I'm referencing is this baby right here. And I'm blinding you all because it has a metallic packaging um, with the beautiful floral applique on it. This is Oscar De La Renta's Oscar Velvet Noir. I know underrated Oscar De La Renta, no one's really talking about or reaching for Oscar De La Renta fragrances anymore. This is like back in the day. However, this fragrance, and I do have information about this fragrance here on my iPad, so I'm on Fragrantica. This fragrance came out in 2016. This is a floral woody musk fragrance. This fragrance has ginger, orange blossoms, sweet orange, and jasmine on the top notes. The middle notes are rose, violet, osmanthus. I can never say that. Then the base notes are agarwood or oud, my favorite, amber, and musk. You guys, when I tell you that this fragrance did not underwhelm me, that this fragrance blew me away, 
This is the packaging. So as you can see, the packaging is gold and it's like radiant bottle. So you can actually see the juice in the bottle. This is a 3.4 fluid ounce bottle, a 100 ml bottle. I paid less than $50 for this, you guys. Less than $50. The top has Oscar de la Renta etched in. This is a beautiful bottle. I might say so myself. Did you hear the notes? Ginger, um, rose, orange blossom, jasmine, violet. Ood, amber, musk. Oh my goodness, you guys. I fell in love with this fragrance and okay. I'm still in love with it. I'm still in love with it. Let me spray it on my paper. Ooh, atomizer is good. Ooh, this is good. You definitely smell the oud. This is a rose oud combination, but you smell the rose, you smell the oud. I smell the jasmine. It is so beautiful. I smell the violet. Definitely the musk, the musk as well. This is really, really good. I fell in love with this fragrance because I call this type of fragrance an all-purpose or all-weather fragrance. Really, you can wear this for any event. You can wear this for any occasion. You can dress it up, wear it to, to for dress up. You can wear it for dress down. You can wear it in the spring, summer, winter, fall. This is a really everyday, anytime fragrance. It really is. It is, um, especially if you like the note content like I do. If you like a oud, it, but it's not a screechy animalic oud at all. It's uh, really, um, if you were, say, wanting to get into oud for the first time or you were wanting to try out oud, I think you would start with a fragrance like this, okay? Um, I think this fragrance is could be unisex wear what you want to wear whatever gender but i think this fragrance could be a unisex fragrance i think this fragrance is a fragrance where either female or male can pull this off and um would smell really really good with it um in wearing it i like it a lot and i'm so glad that i finally got the full size of it like i said i paid less than 50 dollars for it a little bit um, goes a long way, but definitely don't think that if you do, if you are heavy spray that you're going to really offend anyone. Um, because when it dries down, I wouldn't say it's a skin scent, but it does in camp you in like a scent bubble. Um, the sillage for this is good because people has, have complimented me and have smelt me going and coming. I've left a trail. Um, but this is good. You guys really, really good. And I'm glad I was able to get it. I'm glad it came back in stock so that I could get it. And now I have it in my collection. I kind of feel a uh, sigh of relief because like I wore that decan out. Okay. <laughs> I wore that decan out. So again, this is Oscar de la Renta's Oscar Velvet Noir. Okay. So you guys, that's it. That concludes my little post Christmas haul. Thank you guys so much again for being a part of the family. If you are, if you're not yet, hit that subscribe button, leave comments below, like this video, share, hit me up on my other social media platforms. I can never seem to say that. Hit me up on my other social media platforms, you guys. And if you want to see more content, let me know. I'll do my best to try to get it out for you as soon as I can, when I can. But until then, and until the next video, you guys, you keep it beautiful and I'll keep inspiring. God bless.